Hello everyone. In last video, we saw how to deploy a device certificate during autopilot to a hybrid AD join device, which joins our on-premise domain. In this video, we will see how we will deploy the device certificate to a Azure AD joined uh, computer, which does not join on-premise AD. So deploying device certificates for an Azure AD joined device uh, makes more sense because they never connect to our on-premise uh, domain controller. So if we have any group policies applied to deploy device certificates on-premise, they never get those group policies. Hence, they do not get the device certificates from our internal CA. And if we are deploying those machines over the internet, then it would be a good idea to have those device certificates deployed to them because in your organization, you may have VPN or Wi-Fi authentication which require device certificates on the machines. So this was the policy we created for our hybrid AD join machine. And there we specified the fully qualified domain name as the tech name format and also the subject alternate name here. But for a Azure AD join machine, there's a different variable which we will use for them. So I have already created that uh, policy here and assigned it to the collection. So let me show you. The only difference between the on-premise AD one and the Azure AD one is this. Here we will specify AAD underscore device underscore ID and also the subject alternate name, same as that one. In the last video, we created the policy to deploy the root certificate. So we will use the same policy and deploy it to our cloud Azure AD joint device collection. So now they will get the root certificate for our CA and also the device certificate. So once they connect to the on-premise network uh, Wi-Fi or VPN, which requires certificate based authentication, it would work. So if you want to see the other steps on how to create the certificate template and install the Intune certificate connector point, please see my last video. I will post the link in the description. So I have created the policy here and deployed to the machine. So let us run autopilot on the machine and see how it works. The autopilot process has kicked in. So let me log in and see if it works or not. And we get the device certificate. The autopilot uh, setup is going on and the device setup is complete. So we should uh, see the certificates. So let me open the MNC and the certificate store on this machine and I should see the certificate. So here I see the certificate being assigned from my local certificate authority django.dc.c and it's a client authentication certificate. So I get the certificate with the, the device ID of my Azure AD domain joint Windows 10 machine. So now this uh, Windows 10 machine can authenticate using this certificate. So this was a small video on how to assign certificate to Azure AD joint machines during the autopilot process. I hope you like this video. Please uh, like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.